Hi, in this Photoshop tutorial, I will show you how to create this um, dramatic skin tone effect in Photoshop. Let me show you the original image, which is this. So we will create something like this. What I will do is group all the layers that I have here and hide this group and drag it under my layer here. So we start with this uh, original image of this woman and the first thing I would like to do is reduce the saturation of the skin because that way I can, the colors that I will add um, next will have more effect on the image. So I will add a hue saturation adjustment layer and I'll decrease the um, saturation to about minus 40. That way we have less color on the skin. What I'll do now is duplicate the layer zero by pressing and holding the Alt key and clicking on it and drag it above the hue saturation adjustment layer. And I'll name this gray because I will desaturate this. If you go to image, um, adjustments, you can uh, desaturate the image if you click this option here. What I will do now is change the blend mode of this to multiply and reduce the opacity. Let's see, let's say about 50%. The opacity here depends also on how bright the skin of your model is. Um, I think 50% is okay for this one. Next, I will add a gradient map just to add a bit of color to the to the image and for the gradient I will use a custom gradient um, I will use a two color gradient so for the shadows which is the left part of this uh, gradient here um, I will use a dark purple color like this okay and click okay and I will leave the highlights white I don't want to touch the highlights so let's click okay and now change the blend mode of this adjustment layer to soft light okay and this is the color that we get uh, I'll probably decrease a bit the opacity or before we do that let's try using a brighter tone not too saturated but a bit brighter something like that and click OK and I will decrease the opacity to about 80 or something like that it's too strong it kind of darkens the whole image so I'll decrease it about 50 or 45 percent see the effect next I will add a color balance adjustment this adjustment allows you to change the, um, the amount of color on each um, tone so we have the shadows mid tones and highlights and here for example if I select the shadows I can add a bit more cyan on the shadows a bit more magenta and a bit more blue I have the same effect that I created with the gradient map that's why I don't want to pump this too much let's see on the mid tones um, we can leave the blues how they are Maybe add a bit of green and a bit of red. And on the highlights, I want to add a bit more red, some magenta. No, let's leave the magenta how they are. And a little more blue, but not too much. Okay, so again, we made the effect a little stronger with this without affecting the, the brightness of the image. The next thing that I will do is create a stamp of this uh, of what I have here on the screen and you can do that um, in a couple of ways you can go to edit uh, first go to select all and then go to edit and choose copy merged and then edit paste and you will paste like a copy of everything we have here you can also do this you can also do this if you use a keyboard shortcut which is um, shift alt command and e or shift alt control and e on a pc and you'll create the stamp automatically so let's name this lights and now go to edit adjustments and choose shadows highlights what we do with this adjustment is um, change a bit the light here if we increase we have 
you can see we have two sections we have shadows highlights well and then we have the adjustments which we'll probably use uh, at the end uh, so on the shadows if we increase the amount we will add a bit more light on the shadows as soon as we increase the tonal width you can see how the shadows become brighter and with the radius we can kind of control a bit that effect and the same with the highlights if we increase the amount in the tonal width we will decrease the amount of light I don't want to decrease them too much because uh, it will not look nice okay so this is the effect that we got uh, with the color adjustments you can um, see we can control a bit the light uh, the color that we have on the image but let's leave that to zero and maybe touch a bit the midtone contrast just increase it just a little bit so we'll increase it just a little bit to give a bit more of contrast and let's click OK. And if I deactivate the lights layer, you will see the effect before and after. It looks better. We see more of the hair and some better shadows here on the, on the bottom part of the image. And to finish it off, what we can do is add a curves adjustment on top of everything. And uh, we can add a bit more of highlights here and maybe, well, just a little more light. And then go into the blue channel and drag this point a little just to add a bit more blue on the shadows and drag this down slightly to add a bit of yellow on the on the image you can also go on the other channels and try color combinations add a bit more of cyan if you drag this down or add more magenta if you drag the greens down but i'm not going to do that so i will leave it like it is right now and this is the the effect that we got let me show you the original image again before and after so this is the dramatic uh, color effect on on the skin